Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing today? It is Freedom Friday. Let's get excited. It's Friday, first of all, and we are free. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen. I thank you so much for stopping by. For whatever reason you decided to click on this video, please stick around. I hope you decide to become a part of the family, living fit, focused, and fabulous. So, for my returning folks, what is up? Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments and of uh, inspiration and hope and just, you know, reminders that, um, that, you know, anything is possible and that I will get through this. So I appreciate, you know, you all for those words. Please continue to share with your family. Let's get into None it. I'm not going to be before you long. Okay. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about hair regrowth strategies. Um, so last time I was talking about, um, you know, just what happened, how I lost my hair, how it made me feel. Basically, my hair loss struggles. And so now it's like my hair regrowth strategies. I have kind of tried a lot of things. I mean, I've taken chlorophyll, um, oregano oil, uh, turmeric, pills. I mean, kind of you name it, whatever like natural root is out there, I was basically taking it. And <clears throat> so that causes a lot of like frustrations because Typically when you go the natural route, it's gonna take a little bit longer. Of course, if you get a steroid or they shoot something right into your scalp, yeah, you'll probably have um, you know, results. However, how long will you keep those results is the question. And so, and, and what is it doing to your body? What is it doing to your gut? So that's where I have to make different decisions in order to have the best um, outcome possible. So that being said, um, that was those natural herbs with the things I was trying, but there was a suggestion to get a laser. And so I'm like, what is this laser thing? How does this work? So I decided, I did some research and I decided to go ahead and get um, a low light laser to help stimulate down in the root area, on the, um, underneath the skin to really hopefully get some, you know, action, you know, get my hair uh, follicles stimulated and hopefully have hair growth. And again, please forgive me. I'm looking down again because I'm looking for some pictures once again for my other phone. Because I wanted to show you like how I kind of knew that my hair had been um, like damaged or messed up or was falling out. Because a few years ago, I was able to at least put it in a ponytail. Can you see my pony? You can barely see the ponytail. Let me try to find another one. But that was the cutest picture ever. I felt so beautiful that day. But anyway, um, so yeah, the laser light is definitely something that uh, I would honestly suggest if you, you know, financially can afford it. It was about a thousand dollars, but I was able to get it on um, a firm, like the payment plan thing. So that was even better. I paid ninety-seven dollars a month for it, so now I own it. So let me go ahead and show you. My boyfriend calls it the helmet, because it does look like a helmet. I'm gonna do a full review on this um, for my next week. So make sure you stay tuned for that, for the full review, right? And I'll unbox it and everything, I'll show you everything. But this is the helmet, and I basically, after I've washed my hair, I put this on, like so. And then I turn on the light. And then you can see. And so that is penetrating down beneath, right? And so it's really getting, that light is stimulating. So I, I use this almost, <laughs> I started out using it three times a week. Then my boyfriend's like, use it every day. So then I was using it every day. Then it was suggested just, it's not going to make a difference if you use it every day. So just use it, you know, kind of three times a week, like they said. <laughs> so, um, so that's what I use to help restore my hair, to help grow back my hair. It was a minimal investment, you know, so it's like for a long-term return. So that is um, what I still do now. And I added, so I was watching um, YouTube and lo and behold, one of the girls that I follow gave her PCOS hair loss journey. And I was like, oh my goodness, I just posted about my hair loss journey. So she was sharing um, all the things that she had gone through and then uh, what she used to help to restore her hair. Now guys, you have to remember, everyone's hair loss is different. So just because it worked for her doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. So you don't get frustrated. You're really gonna have to source out and figure out what's gonna work for you. So 
she was using Blue Magic. Blue Magic hair grease. And I was like, oh yeah, I know Blue Magic. So I'm like, okay, but then I'm like, the, the petroleum, the mineral oil, all the other toxic ingredients, or the fact that it only sits on top of the hair, right? So it's not, you know, honestly that's not that healthy, but it's just, it doesn't really, it just only locks in moisture. So I went to my beauty supply store and I'm like, okay, I remembered a certain brand that was a little more natural called Nature's Blessing. I don't know if you all have seen this or heard of it, but it is hair pomade, conditioner, restorer, and root builder. And the ingredients are nettle, rosemary, sage, peppermint, thyme, alfalfa, pure virgin olive oil, pure coconut oil, sage oil, rosemary oil, bergamot, chlorophyll from nettle and spinach, pure mineral jelly, natural fragrance, and good intention. So this is what I got because it is more of a natural form and all those uh, ingredients are the ones that they use for hair loss anyway um so this is what it looks like i've been using it and you can also use it on dry skin and chapped lips so i cannot lie i have put it on my lips before i have a lip gloss right now but um i put it on my lips it, i mean it smells a little like grease but it's all good so they have another version called which is a pure coconut oil and then they have another one which is a vegan formula. So I'm gonna try this. And also in my research, I was I found out about coffee bean oil. So then I'm like, okay, coffee stimulates you know the blood flow and it helps you know to stimulate. So I'm like, okay. So then I'm seeing all these DIYs on how to do coffee oil, and I'm like, I don't feel like doing all that. So guess what? I found that. At the beauty supply store, the Jamaican black castor oil with coffee bean. And yes, it does smell a little like coffee. And um, it has just castor oil and coffee extract in it. So just take, it doesn't come with a um, dropper. So just take a little you know, dropper if you have one and just use it in there. It's very thick and very runny. I don't know if, that's, if you can have the same thing. But anyway, it, it gets messy, so just be careful. Um, so that is what I just started two days ago. So we're gonna get some, you know, before and afters and just kind of see what this process looks like, looks, and how long it takes. Um, so that with the, um, the helmet, I'm gonna keep doing. So I'll give you updates on that, so make sure you stay tuned. And then I found a trichologist here in Rock Hill, and so I'm trying to get with her to find out like her prices and her process to see if um, she would be able to help me in any way. So I'm super excited about, you know, my hair future. I washed my hair today, so I'll take a look and let y'all see how I plaited it. So another suggestion from that girl, Kyra Sean, that's who I saw on, on um, YouTube. She was saying how she, um, she just left her spot alone. She used to corn roll, and I was corn rolling, but that brings a lot of tension on the hair. So she just put it in some plaits, and then the little spot that she was having the most issues with, she just kind of like, you know, folded it over and covered it up. So I have little knots, little bantus. My mom used to do my hair like this, and I used to think it was so unattractive, but I'm cute, it's okay, it's okay. So I'm excited about this. This is growth, guys. This is growth, this is amazing. My little, you know, what was the guy's name from um, Little Rascals Alfalfa or something? That's my little alfalfa sprout. <laughs> so um, stay tuned, stay with me on this hair restoration journey. We are gonna go get it. I hope that you found value in this video. I kept you a little longer than I wanted to, I'm so sorry. But I hope you stay to the end. Um, share with a friend, if someone experiencing hair loss, this is not an easy topic, it's not an easy thing to discuss. However, there is freedom when you do discuss it. So I feel so much better overall. And so I'm grateful that you all listened. I'm grateful that you showed up for me and please continue to do so. But until we meet again, I will talk to you soon. Bye.